Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 31 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I bought low and sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I don't know why I'm doing this with my hand in all my videos tonight. But anyway, um, yeah, these are items to be on the lookout for. I pick things up at thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions. Um, Garage sales are my favorite, but they're not happening right now. Um, it's almost summer. We're getting there. Can't wait. I'm so excited. If you are excited for garage sale season, put a high five down in the comments. High five. I'm so excited for garage sale season. All right. I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I'm going to share my bolos with you guys. All right. Let's get started. So there is one item. I thought it was a bolo. Nope, it was not. Um, it was bread and butter, but I thought it was going to be a big money bolo. I was wrong. So I'll share that one with you guys. Okay. We have our screen share up and we are going to look at our first item here. Uh, this one came from a garage sale. It was a bulk buy. I bought all of the new old stock toys at this garage sale. And, um, NOS means new old stock. If you see that in an eBay listing. And these are items that are no longer sold, discontinued, vintage, and they are new old stock if they've not been opened. So this item was $2. I sold it for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. Room by room. I've not heard of this. Apparently it's some sort of like dollhouse furniture or something um, by Jazzwares. i not 100% sure. This is, it's like, I don't know, build it your way. Never heard of it, but it sold. So it must be something that people know about and are still looking for. It's from 2008. So not vintage per se, but discontinued. The next item I sold is this Longenberger pottery candle plate. Um, I am sold out now. I picked these up at a garage. So I think they were 50 cents each, you guys. They may have been a dollar each. So I'm not 100% sure, but I bought uh, three of them and they have all sold. And I sold this for a best offer of $11 and the buyer paid shipping. I typically pick up Longenberger um, pottery. I've done pretty well with it. If it's not a, it's not usually big money, but it's typically bread and butter and sells at a decent rate. The next item. Okay. I thought this was going to be a bolo and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, it's just weird and weird sells. I mean, look at this baby. Kind of weird, right? Now, I could not figure out who made this. I couldn't find another one like it. Um, and it said cast art, but it was also signed right here. And it says um, Kristen. And I looked and looked and looked and I could not figure it out. And finally, I can't remember if I posted it on Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, it is bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers, go check me out over there. Um, I also have two Bolo Buddies Facebook groups. Um, you can check those out by typing Bolo Buddies into the search bar of Facebook, or they are also linked in the description. So somehow I found out that this is a Dream Sickles artist. Actually, you know what? I may have got some Dream Sickles at a garage sale and saw the name Kristen on the bottom. That may have been how I figured it out. But I went back in and updated the listing and man, it just would not sell. I mean, I originally had this listed for like $100. I just thought it was really special. I was wrong. Um, anyway, I took a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. I've had this thing so long. I don't remember where I got it. I don't remember what I paid for it. I apologize. I just don't know. But um, it took forever to sell. So I probably wouldn't recommend it, even though I thought it was going to be big money. But again, that was back when I first started selling hard goods. So vintage flameless candles. All right. These are lucite and acrylic flake, and they are tapered. And one of them is missing the little um, wick. Now, you don't actually light these guys, they are faux. Um, they are for uh, decoration only. And these came with the um, the stands. 
And I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say, I can't remember. I should have wrote it down two or three bucks. Maybe they were a dollar. I don't know, but I have sold these in the past. And if I see them, it is one item I always pick up because they always sell for me. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $28, even with the defect and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I love this next item. It's an itty bitty mini Barbie record player. And this either came in my dollhouse bulk lot that I picked up at the estate sale, or it was in a toy bundle that I got. I think it was in that um, estate lot, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I showed this, yeah. I showed this item in my sourcing with Bolo Buddies um, on my other channel. I held it up. I show you how it works. So if you guys want to see that, you can go over there and check it out. And maybe I wrote down what I paid for it or where I got it. But I did that last week. So um, I can't remember. Can't remember. Anyway, I uh, sold that for $13.60 in the buyer paid shipping. This is another item that I also put on my reseller testing products YouTube channel to show how it works. I think, no, maybe I didn't. I was thinking I put a video in it, but I didn't. I did put it on my channel though. All right, this is a replacement part for a Lego set. I think it's the Angry Birds Lego set, but three of them came in the set. So I went ahead and listed them separately and I have sold two. I have one left. I sold it for $5.60 plus shipping. So I do have one left. The next item I sold is this bird cage chimes. I picked these up at a thrift store for 50 cents. They were vintage. I thought they were just kind of neat. Um, not super fast sale. It, it sat for a little while, but it did sell for $13 best offer in the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Marilyn Monroe doll and she is new old stock. I picked her up at a garage sale. Uh, $3, I do believe. And I bought all of the Barbies at this garage sale. Again, I'm one of those that walks up and I say, what do you want for all of it? Uh, you get better deals that way. I sold this for a best offer of $21 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these bananas. And I think they were made of clay. You can see right here, this one is actually broke. Uh, it looks like clay. I sold the bananas, this fuzzy peach, like literally you guys, this is fuzzy like a peach. Doesn't it look real? I can't remember where I got these. I, these might've been a thrift store find, but I got that peach, that peach and the bananas. And somebody bought all of them for $43 and 97 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So that was a bundle deal. The next item I sold is this VTech lot of uh, children's toys. These came out of a mystery box. I have not sold many toys yet. It's something that um, I, I'm willing to branch out to. However, um, you'll see in some of my recent mystery toy boxes that I got a bunch of toys. And one of the gals that I met on um, Facebook who is subscribed to my channel we have become friends and I had put a post out asking if anyone was interested in doing some consignment. And she, um, said that she was, so, um, she, she has like a full-time job. So she's just kind of doing this on the side. But, um, I just took like a whole car load of stuff to her. So I'm super excited about that, but I gave her a bunch of the baby toys. So I'm really, really excited to see how they do. And she lists a lot of items on Mercari. So um, I think they'll do well over there. But I decided to lot these three items up. And surprisingly, I wasn't sure if they would, I thought they would sit for a while. And they actually sold really quick. I sold all three items for a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $32.15. So I was really happy with it. So I would definitely consider listing these items in my store from now on. Um, so I, I plan to buy more mystery boxes. So if there's baby toys, um, that are in good condition, I will either hold them for consignment or I will just list them myself because they are definitely, they did well. They sold quickly. The next item I sold came out of a 
mystery dibble box, D-I-B-B-L-E. That is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. I purchased it from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. Um, I paid $100 for the box. If you would like to see what I got for that $100, um, that is on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I unbox it. I list all of the items. And at the end of the video, I show you exactly what I listed everything for and what I expect to make on the items. Um, I just kind of show you how, how I do it, how I source on YouTube. So check that out. I sold these uh, hangers, new old stock hangers for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'll link Donatella Bottolino's channel down in the description. You can find it down there if you guys want to check it out. The next item I sold is this vintage Victoria's Secret um, Rapture perfume. It's mini. It's hard to find. And when I say mini, it is tiny. Partially used. Itty bitty. I took a best offer of $17 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, I still had to ship this ground. So shipping was still like seven or eight bucks. Um even though it's tiny. So that is kind of a bummer. The next item I sold are these Dementor hands from Harry Potter. And these are new with tags. They came in a mystery box. I took a best offer of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is from that 2012 Ninja Turtles secret sewer layer that um, play set that I parted out. So I put the whole thing together. I watched a YouTube video to do it. Oh. Anyway, it's been a while ago now, but um, when you do this, these items are more long tail because you have to wait till somebody needs the part. But I put the thing together and it was missing like two or three pieces. And I'm like, ah, so I decided to part it out. And I have made quite a lot of money from parting it out, but it's a lot of time. It's a lot of work. So I mean, maybe if you could like find five sets and then do like multi-quantity or save the drafts. I, I think there's a way to do that. I don't know how to do it, but say I saved this and if I found another play set, like people do that. They look for items that are repeats and then they sell them multi-quantity. And if they run out, they just relist it when they find more. So that's an option. This piece sold for $10.79 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is another replacement piece of a dollhouse. This is a floor base and I sold this for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. So somebody has a dollhouse, the floor gets cracked. They need the floor. Not everybody's selling the floor. I am. Um, this dollhouse was missing some stuff. So I parted it out and I took that thing apart. I've got the stair steps listed. I had the roof separate. I think I got $44 for the roof. It's in another video. Um, I sold a curtain. Somebody's like, I would have thrown that curtain away. I'm like, no, no, no. People need those replacement parts. The next item was out of a dibble box um, that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino. Uh, it was a different dibble box. This one I actually um, bid on. I bid on the lot. I bid it up to $110 and I will make over $800 on this box when everything sells. If you go to, if you stay on this channel, um, I do an unboxing. And again, I show you what I listed everything for and um, what I expect to make. I also have a follow-up video. Um, just if you type in Dibble onto my channel, you'll see the other listings or the other videos. But that one, I tell you what's sold so far and how much I've made so far. So you can check that update out also if you'd like. But this one sold for $22.40 and the buyer paid shipping. And these were just kind of the items that I didn't feel like listing individually. I definitely could have made more than $22 on these. I probably should have listed them, but I was being lazy. So sometimes I'm a lazy reseller. I'm honest about that. I can admit that. I can be lazy. All right. These Hallmark Itty Bitty Lady and the Tramp plush toys. They're super, super cute. They sold for $11.99. The buyer paid shipping. And I think these came from a garage sale and a plush lot. I'm almost certain. Okay, this vintage um, 
It's an activity book. It's from 1983. It's from the Serendipity series, which is a popular series, which probably made this sell for more. Um, I sold this for $23.99. The buyer paid shipping. This came from a thrift store. 25 cents is what I paid for it. This little ad animal adventure plush. Um, I got this on Facebook. It was in a lot of toys. Um, if you go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, you can see this. I, I paid $50 for all of it. It took me so long to unpack. I had to make two videos. Tons of toys. Tons, tons, tons. And this was one of the items. I had this listed auction style for $9.99 because I could not find one that looked identical with the same pattern. Uh, somebody offered me $12 and they had zero feedback. And I just felt like it was somebody that needed this item for their kid. Maybe they lost it. Like, you know, I, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to sell it to them for $12. So I did. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item are these vintage Minecraft plush toys. Um, that's what the tag looks like. And I sold these for $34 and the buyer paid shipping. This was a Facebook marketplace item. Again, I bundled a bunch of stuff, asked them if they had anything else. They threw in a bunch of stuff, gave me a price. And this was a part of that lot. The next item is this Ronkin Bach um, playset piece. Now, I will tell you, this one is yellowing, not in great condition. You can see um, Rockin' Bonk is a bolo. Uh, this one is just one piece, so it went for a small profit. However, um, I s bought some other stuff with it that was more of a big money bolo. So definitely be on the lookout for Ronkenbach. I sold this for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, this one is going to blow your mind. Look at this little guy. So it's Elmo. You push this button on the bottom and he lights up. I don't know why I listed this. I'm like, this is major bread and butter, but I just had a feeling and it sold super quick. I took a best offer of $7 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think this was in a mystery box, so I don't have much in it. The next item is this vintage Dodge Van Clan flower keychain. Super, super cool. Uh, that came from a garage sale and it sold pretty quickly. Um, I had it priced pretty high because it's definitely a bolo. Um, I did take a best offer of $25. I really didn't want to, but the person just kept sending me offers and I could tell that they really, really wanted it. I feel like I probably could have got the full asking price just because it's so rare, but I went ahead and took the $25 plus shipping. The next item is this Walt Disney World Disney pin. Um, they will say Walt Disney on the back. Official Trading, 2008, and they've got the little ears that go over the um, the pin. And this sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from that garage sale where everything was um, like discontinued or new old stock. I'm not sure what year this was, but um, I do think it's retired. I sold this for $34.19 and the buyer paid shipping. It's from the Happy Feet 2 movie. They're the little um, penguin figures. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. The next item came out of a mystery box and I almost didn't list this, I gotta tell you. But he's animated and I thought people love animated items. And it sold pretty quick. I sold it for $16.72 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these watercolor pencils. They came from a thrift store. I think they were either a dollar or two dollars. I can't remember. Um, I sold these for best offer, $14, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Hot Wheels Redline car. This was also one of my today's Bolo items on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. This item is in horrible condition. Paint loss, horrible. I almost didn't list it, but it's it's got the red lines on the wheels. And I'm like, you know what? It's worth a shot. And it sold. It sold for $11.39 and the buyer paid shipping. It came out of a... Um, 
a garage sale haul. It was a bunch of toys. So I probably got less than a dollar in it. The next item is this vintage Halloween ceramic ghost. This came out of a mystery box also. I have done really well with these ceramic uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin items. This one's got the little ghost, so that is an extra plus. I sold this for... Uh, I can't read my writing. It's on the wrong page. I sold this for $13.99, best offer in the buyer page shipping. The next item are these fortune telling sticks and I sold these for $15 buyer paid shipping. I got these from the same garage sale as that red line car. Um, they sat in my basement forever, finally listed them. They're missing the lid. There's three sticks missing. I was like, should I even um, list this? The packaging is damaged. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. And it sold really fast. Fast in my opinion, faster than I expected. Uh, all in for $26.14. The next item that sold is this vintage dollhouse miniature plastic baby doll. This came from that estate sale with all the dollhouse furniture that I picked up. I sold this for $21.28 and the buyer paid shipping. It's just a little plastic molded doll and it's even got an, like a defect on its behind. I have no idea what happened to it. I don't know what this brand is. Maybe it's something special. I, I have no idea. But yeah, it sold pretty quick. The next item is this vintage collectible paper mache Easter egg. It's a little ornament. It sold for a best offer of $8 and the buyer paid shipping. I think I picked that up at a garage sale. I can't say 100%. I don't remember. Um, but I didn't pay much for it. I know that. The next item is this Disney Frozen lot of figures. I picked these up at garage sales, thrift stores, you name it, I pick them up. I lotted this lot together and I sold it for a best offer of $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Dandy Singing Plush. Who put the bump? Who put the bump in the bump? bump, bump? No, I'm not going to sing, um, but that song. And he is uh, really cute. He's a cheetah. And I sold him for $18.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this little pet shop um, jacket. And it is a vest jacket type thing. It's a harder to find item. I took a best offer. Nope, I'm sorry. I sold this for full asking price of $16, which is 20% off of what I was asking. So the sale price and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $20.20. The next item is this Paw Patrol Racer Everest. Um, she came in a toy lot that I picked up at a thrift store. And I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $16.24. All right, you guys, that concludes my bread and butter bolo video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that if you liked what you saw. Um, I have tons of bolo videos. So go check out another video. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and have a great night.